from the face-off dot. Both these teams coming off losses. Duke to Jacksonville for the second year in a row on the road last weekend, 13-12. And Denver, as mentioned, falling to Air Force. Staticus gets the first draw of the day, and we're underway with Denver getting the first possession. How about that job by Avery, too, of diving in the crease legally and not landing in the goal mouth to make the goal stand. This time, Duke with possession off the draw, and it's Naso who wins it. Trail check, though, breaks it free and couldn't quite get picked up by Malik Sparrow. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Duke. He's a rider. Coach Dino said he brings something extra. Big battle to Dot. Now the ground ball, Paramount, won by Denver. Shot is high. Jaden Gary, good feet. Sets picks on offense, finds the net. Grounder and score a layup. Only a sophomore. He's got uh, everything that you look for in a young lacrosse player. Good balance, agility, and he's a. Uh, but here, I'm starting to think he's just going to go off every game. I mean, I hadn't called his, any of his games yet this year, his first three, and he had 14 goals. Now make it 15. Q, I think nice part of it, too, is this, this attack line. You know, it's, yeah, lo latest in the long line of great Canadians to play at Denver. Bill Tierney just made a living out of bringing in some great Canadian players over the years. Yeah. Connor, you know, that that to me is what's fascinating about Coach T. Princeton Dynasty built on... He'll be playing an attack-slash-midfield role. Again, showing his versatility. Goal and a couple of assists for O'Neal on the day. If you watch a Tierney-based practice, the ball will be on the ground very little. The stick work is impeccable and harped on. Things are done the right way all the time. The standards are the high. Just inside of five minutes left to play. Staticus has done well at the faceoff dot today. Owns the advantage over Naso. You get a great feel from this low camera angle of, of what wing play is all about. And the physical nature of the two faceoff men. Wow, Mercurio, 6-3, throwing some lumber. Long way in terms of the quality of practice next week. The more guys you engage and can play and feel like they're part of this, these teams have gigantic rosters right now. Duke, what, carries 53. So you got a totally different style of goalies. Kleban's the big, burly righty. Thompson's the more effervescent lefty. And so maybe sitting out a half was what Thompson needed mentally uh, to come off that. Naso wins this draw. Will he look to generate early off and shoots off the pipe? Denver 6-6 six, six with Duke. And because it was an unreleasable penalty, Denver still has 37 seconds left on this man up. And Staticus at the dot. Big face off here, and it's won by Naso. Still the back check, though, dislodges it, but a Duke player picks it up. Now we're going to get a call against Denver. And because the penalty against Casey Wilson was non releasable, Duke is still a man up for eight seconds. which may burn off with this battle to dot. Yeah, and I think Stathicus knows that. This is the scenario, though, with these long extended draws that I thought we were out of that business. But it looked like Stathicus liked where he was. He knew the time was on his side. That'll take a oh! shot. That'll juice up the Pios. This is smooth. He's got to get his air now and settle down, but this is unbelievable. The control over this draw, the exit 
and then he puts it puts the speed on long strider watch him sparrow takes the first guy out you always want to be the third man into any loose ball and right here boom turbo little head and shoulder fake sneaks it near side there's just a little bit of a window and he puts it right in the corner Staphicus. Yeah, if Sparrow's like the sleek wide receiver type, Stathakis is the fullback. The lower body strength, you can see it in this shot right here. Great shot of Stathakis and Naso. Yeah, look at the power in the lower body. Not only the, the clamp in the upper body, the quickness in the clamp, but the hip strength in these scrums to maintain your feet. McAdoo. When you're, when you're hip to hip and shoulder to shoulder, Largest lead of the day for Denver. Just under five to play in this third quarter. These two have been going at it. Stathicus and Naso. Stathicus, he, he's the party starter. He's the guy who fuels these runs now. Make it, take it. You think about Denver shooting first half. What we say, 18? We talked about it earlier. We see it every time we have Duke, especially early in the season, the depth. Stathakis. Will he take a shot? He will. Helm is there. Combination of power and skill. And you saw him talking to his teammate after that goal. The one thing Dino said was, of course, all the physical tools, the skills you can imagine. But this year, that leadership role. The lead is to Stathakis. Four straight Ready of the world on his shoulders here. Look at this. Four straight. They were down 9-7. This is the way it used with, to be, Q. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of these. And, and we've changed the rules to get the ball out. This, this you is don't get atrocious. this very often anymore, though. This is atrocious. Somebody is withholding the ball or holding the other Fogo down there. Official finally makes that's, the call. It's going to go against Duke. Not in the best interests of the, of the game when we have face -offs. I don't see those very often anymore, though. This hey. is rare in this game that we've had two or three of them. Yeah. Shot score! A.J. Mercurio! We told you to watch out for these poles. They're dangerous on offense. We've seen Sparrow, and now Mercurio finds the back of the net. Are oh, we having fun yet? This is unbelievable. This, this game continues to deliver. Reno, Nevada, the big senior at 6-3. Tough man to stop in the open field. You got to take the body. He gets to a good spot. Mesa went potentially early there, man. He timed that one up pretty good. Cotter, he... he he had the whistle in his head. He still thought about staying on there. You talked about it earlier in this game. No idea what you're getting yourself involved <laughs> with. That That is lacrosse on Red Bull. Sixes format, shot clock, two-point arc. Fast yeah. games, the ball goes up and down and up and down. It is insane in terms of pace. I like the Atlas. I will be there with the boils. Denver and Silstrop regain the lead. These two tireless. This is a great angle cue. It lets you know the battles at every single draw. It's never hip easy. To hip, shoulder to shoulder. Stathicus is going to get a little loose ball holder push there. Duke now needs to fight their way back at home. The two-man games in terms of picks and slips. O'Neal's going to draw so much attention. Naso wins the draw cleanly to himself. Williams loses the handle, then loses his footing, but keeps it in bounds. No, they're saying he went out of bounds. I think the strength. Cotter, he's able to lean in and take that and barrel his way to a good angle. Richie he Connell. Needed that too. 
He's had a hard time shooting the ball this year. The transfer from Richmond from Colorado began his career at Richmond, coming back home, play his final year in Denver, Bill Tierney's final year, and he's giving Denver back. the lead here, final two minutes. Going back to foot, footwear, screw-ins, yeah. molded, turf shoe, sneaker. Oh, what a play by Sparrow. And turns away to his strength. Fadeaway jump shot, fadeaway hook shot. It's virtually unstoppable. This is massive. 18.6, enough time to get something going if you can win this face-off cleanly. It's a scrum, but Naso comes out of there with it. Fans want to hit to the head, won't get it. Now they do. The flag is down, so it's a delayed call against Denver. And if Thompson is forced to go down and make the save, I don't think that was going to be on K 